hello friends welcome to our channel and in this video we will discuss about how to create a professional payslip or payroll in excel we already have the template and we only need to use the vlookup formula to create this type of template we only need to insert the employee id and we will get the data of the employee which includes the gender country and payslip we have the employee database from which we will get the result by using the employee id we only need to type the employee id and we will get the salary allowances and deduction we have the basic details as well like if i change the employee id so i get the details of suzanne and we can also cross check with the database which includes the susan in 1002 employee id we can again change the another employee id which is 1003 and we will get the details of david which also included in the employee id this is how we will learn in this video that how we can create the employee template by using the employee database and we only need to use the vlookup formula to create such type of payslip let's start our example we have the template and we need to work on this template by using the vlookup formula we have the employee database that we will use in our whole example we have different multiple columns and different data so we go here in the name column and use the vlookup formula equals to we look up bracket open and in the lookup value we will select the employee id cell comma then in the table array we go here in the employee details and after selecting the whole table we use here comma and in the column we need the name and name is in the second column so we go here in the sheet and we need the name and name you can count here in the column number 2 so first we delete the whole employee data and use 2 for the column number 2 comma and 0 for the exact match now before entering this we need to make the table array constant so select the table array and press f4 to make constant now we also need to make the lookup value constant so select the lookup value and press f4 now you can see here it is not available first we need to copy the whole formula and paste it in the gender cell again i select the whole and copy and paste the formula in the gender cell after pasting the formula i only need to change the column number rather than changing the whole or rather than copying the whole formula so we need to go here in the formula and we need to change the column number to 3 this is how we have completed the gender similarly again we will select the whole formula copy and paste on email address cell use the same technique for the country as well and now we only need to count the column number of the email and it is in the fifth column so we only need to go here in the formula and change the column number to 5 this is how we use the technique for the country as well we need to count the country column it is in fourth column so we will change the column number from 3 to 4 and enter we need to use the same technique of the formula again copy the formula and paste it in all the columns use the same technique for the pasting 
rather than that we use the same formula or we use the same whole formula we only need to count the columns of salary and salary is in the sixth column so we'll change the column number to sixth again we use the same technique count the home allowance column and go here in the pay slip and change the column from 4 to 7 similarly for the medical allowance column we have the medical column in the 8 so we change the column from 4 to 8 now change from 4 to 8 now for the rent allowance again go in the employee details and rent allowance is in the ninth column so we change column from 4 to 9th and last monthly bonus so the monthly bonus is in the last column and it is in the 11th number so we change from 4 to 11th and enter now we need to find the provident fund so we copy the whole formula and paste it in the provident fund cell now we need to go here in the employee details and the provident fund column is in the 10th number so we change the column number from 11th to 10th we only need to change the column number rather than that we can type or it will take time to type separately formula for each now we can test our formula by typing the employee code so you can find the changes again i can test our formula and you can see the details as well like if i change the employee code but before that we need to align the data again select the whole column and make it in the center alignment now we have the details which we need to change in percentage so go here in the percentage cell so it will convert automatically now we can use another function which is format painter so i select the cell go here in the format painter and click on the cell it will automatically convert into the percentage now we can increase or decrease the decimal we need to select these cells and increase the decimals up to two values or two digits now to change the details or format into or with the SI unit so we again use the format painter in the employee data we have the salary which includes the currency so we use the format painter go here in the pay slip and click on the salary so it has changed the format again use the same format painter for the 3000 and for the net pay slip to find the net pay we use the formula to add manually like equals to first we select the salary cell so go here in the salary cell and after that we need to select plus and for house allowance we use bracket select the salary multiply sign and then house allowance close the bracket again plus bracket open select the salary cell multiply by medical allowance close the bracket again use the same technique plus bracket open select the salary cell multiply by rent allowance close the bracket then plus sign for the monthly bonus select the cell this is how we have completed the addition now we need to subtract bracket open 
again select the salary for the deduction multiply by provident fund and close the bracket and enter so you can see we got the net pay now we can test our formula by changing the employee ID 1003 we can test the formula as well again by changing the employee code which is 1005 now we need to make it presentable by selecting the bold and again making the bold also make the salary bold now we need to change the employee code and we will get the details this is how we can only use the vlookup formula and with the use of vlookup formula we can create a professional payroll without using other formulas as well